Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Unpotting Week, and this is my cat Leah, my Wakalara con Edwards. This is the one my friend got me for my birthday, and this one is just in bark, and I'm just going to repot him. I was told that if you let it stop watering up until about April or so, it should induce it to flower. So that's probably what I'm going to do unless I see the pseudobulbs or anything getting too wrinkly. I think it's kind of weird, but that's what the guy said. It came from Silva's Orchids, and he said that he's like, would hold water. That he should have stopped watering it a while ago, but he hadn't, so it might not flower this year, but we'll see. We'll see when we get a flower this guy. And I think he's got big roots, so let's see if we can get him out of the pot without killing the plant. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this over the trash. I'll be right back. I just want to show you guys the roots real quick before I start hacking away at it. It was in bark moss, but some of the bark was so disintegrated, it was like dirt. So this is the root system, and I'm not too sure what is or isn't alive. These are alive, I can tell. This is firmer. This is not firm at all. So, hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go hack away at the sucker, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is it. I hit it with hydrogen peroxide, and, <laughs> but it's okay. It'll grow new roots. Hmm, I think I should've cut this one off. But it'll grow new roots. It's got an eye here that's a little swollen. It also has another one right here further up that's a little swollen. Yeah, so there's an eye there, eye here. This guy has an eye that's available. This little guy has a little eye right here. So this guy has plenty of eyes everywhere. So he'll be all right. And we'll see if we ever, if we get a flower out of this guy. Focus, yeah. So it seems to be growing this way. So I'm gonna try to pot him up against. Let's see, I'm gonna put him in here. I try to get him something like that so he has room to come out. Now I'm like, this looks too big. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna get it like that. But then I don't have a stake, so I can't stake this guy. But let's see, let's see if we get this guy to root and grow. <laughs> Probably should put this guy on that mount I got rid of. <laughs> huh. Oh, why are they so complicated? I hate it. I hate it when there's no roots. Or there's very little to no roots. It's the worst. It really is. I absolutely hate that. Alright, let's see. That didn't take long at all, and I need more. Yep, still need some more. Let's see. Let's Clip it with a little clip right there, and hopefully, these roots grow into the pot. Yeah, I can probably clip it right here, and I'll keep it stable inside. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go look for a butterfly clip, I'll be right back. This is a lousy butt job. I hate these like this. Why do they grow so weird? I want it to be upright and it's dead. It's not. I mean, I could just bury these pseudobulbs. I mean, they're already kind of like we're in the pot. If I do that, it'd be yeah. something like this. Let's do that. Move forward a bit.
actually. I am going to stake this because I have to. And I do have. <laughs> I'm going to stake this guy. There's no way I can let this guy be like this. It's too fragile. All right, I'm going to get steak. I'll be right back. and I staked it up and this is it for now I'm just gonna make a little humidity tray and then he's gonna go on the windowsill and and hopefully he puts out a flower spike that'd be awesome but he's going back on the window so that's it I hope you guys like this video don't forget to comment like subscribe I'll see you guys soon thanks for watching bye guys